What's good everybody, on today's video we're going to unbox and teach you how to set up a swimming pool. We got a above ground Hydro 4 swimming pool, it's 10 by 10 feet in size. It comes with a cartridge, filter, pump, skimmer and a ladder. It has a capacity of 4,231 gallons and we're going to show you exactly what you need to get the chlorine going, how to shock the pool and everything that goes along with it without breaking the bank. So if you want a quick inexpensive solution for your backyard for the summers, stay tuned for the whole video. What's good everybody, so today we picked up the Hydro 4 10 foot portable pool that's alex here so alex is going to be putting it together this is a very nice portable pool it comes in different colors inside is always blue the outside is white we wanted to match our decor here um you're gonna have 10 of those metal pipes here right these ones then you got the smaller pipes you got all the the pump the accessories this is our cover it's a solar cover this is the pump we're going to get to it attachments so anyways as you can see alex is actually feeding this in through the fabric and there's 10 of them so once those are in we're going to get these connectors which look like this. All right, so once you've put those all together, the next step is to connect them with this corner piece. So that's a piece of plastic. You're gonna notice that the holes are gonna overlap and then you got these plastic anchors. There you go. And that's it. You don't have to put anything underneath. When you're placing these anchors through the T's to connect, make sure you put the rubber on before you place it through like Alex is doing right here. Once all of these are fastened, the next step is to attach the height pipes. The way you do it is you feed it through the fabric and then fasten it underneath, just like Alex is doing right now. Make sure that the hole goes to the bottom, you feed it through the fabric and then up in there. You don't have to pull it because at this point you're basically creating your structure. So next, grab these. These are like uh, feet for the bottom and then you just basically snap them in. And you can see that the pool is already taken shape, not too high, it's 30 inches, but it's just right for our purpose. All right, so now that we got the pool up, next step is to connect all the hoses and the pumps. So make sure you look at the manual. These are all of the parts. And first you wanna take these two pipes together and connect it with this T-trap. So the next step is we're gonna set up the, the pumps. So make sure you get uh, this little T-trap and then we're gonna put that into B. So you press it all the way into the fabric and then you use this to tighten it. All right, so now you're gonna have two additional pipe. One goes to the A, so Alex is gonna connect it to the A. So then now we connect that to this. Now when you're placing this on, be careful that the O-ring does not move. It has to be on there. So be gentle. There is like a little groove inside this plastic for the O-ring to fit around. So now you should have your B's, your A's connected to the bottom of the pump. And then your final hose connector is going to the top of the pump right here. And again, again, make sure that the O-ring does not move. Do not run the pump dry ever. You're gonna have to fill this before you do that. So these three are for your chlorine and your filters. You also have these black backings here. This goes on the inside of your pool. One here, one there, one here. And these are of course connected to the pumps as well. So you wanna put these in when you're filling up the water, right? And this is gonna ensure that the water doesn't spill out. But when you connect to the pump already, you wanna take these out and then you wanna take these. So the bees, this one and that one, are like this, you wanna take this and unscrew it. So when you're screwing it in, you don't damage and then press this in. It's gonna be a little hard, but just kind of keep turning. And then once this is in, you wanna get your uh, chlorine tablet, put it in here, put the cover on, and then you're good to go. All right, so we have moved the pool, and as you can see, it definitely fits in here. It doesn't look as big in here, so we still have plenty of space to walk around, have a dining room. So now we're going to fill it up. Now we do get a skimmer, of course, as well, long enough to reach anything. And of course, you can also get a ladder so it's easy to climb and, and pull. So now that you have your pool set up, I'm gonna do a real quick overview on what you need to get it all going. So we filled up the water, the pool is right there. First thing you need to do is get this. This is just a floating little plastic puck with a reservoir. So these are mini tab stabilized chlorinating tablets. Chlorine is what's going to kill all the bacteria. So they do look a little thicker than Mentos. You take this, you drop it in. You could take two if you want, and then you just Drop this puck inside your pool. Next up is shocking. So what is shocking? It's a, you only do that when you have like some algae building up or any black or green things around the edges of your pool or at the very bottom. So what you wanna do is you wanna pour a little bit of uh, powder in and around your pool. For this size of pool, we're only gonna need three tablespoons. This is the LG40, which controls the growth of the algae in a swimming pool. Now you may have a different one, uh, but for this particular one, it's 100 mil for every 10,000 liter of pool water. So you want to make sure you know how many liters are in your water. And that's for a pool with no algae. Now every week, you want to add about 35 mil uh, for again, for every 10,000 liters of water. If you do already have algae, uh, then you want to, then you want to add 150 mils of this product into 10,000 liters of pool water. So these are your 
pool and spa testing strips. So on the back, we have one, two, three, four things. These are the most important things when you have a pool. So we dip the chlorine stick inside the water for about 15 seconds. When it's done, then we compare it to the back on the chart. Uh, we don't have the filter turned on quite yet. So we're just gonna leave this in here. Hopefully it will do its thing. And that's how to install and set up a pool and everything around it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.